Good morning, happy travelers. We are in Talkeetna, Alaska, and today we are going on a glacier flight. There are a few companies in Talkeetna that do these scenic flights and the glacier landings, but we went with K2 Aviation. I actually flew with them a few years ago and I lived here and it was a great experience. Looks like the weather is nice and clear, so hopefully we'll get a nice view of Denali. If not, we'll at least be able to see the mountains surrounding it. <laughs> The whole thing, all told, is about an hour and a half long. You get like 20 minutes on the glacier, and then you just fly around looking at awesome stuff for the rest of the time. So since we will be landing on a glacier today, they've provided these glacial overboots that will just fit over your footwear. Just keep any snow out and keep your feet dry. We both have hiking boots on, but I figure might as well put these on for a little added protection. So this is definitely one of the pricier adventures that we're going on. Generally, one of these scenic flights starts at about $250 a person, and then when you add a glacier landing on, it's an extra $100 a person. And it depends on the route that you go on. We're going on the cheapest and shortest one. So you can go up to like $500 a person. One pro tip though, for any of these excursions you wanna do in Alaska, we've seen a few notices in where we're staying that if you mention that you're staying at the particular accommodation, you can get a certain amount of money off on some excursions. Since we're staying with the Takitna Inn, we were able to get 25 bucks off a person. So it's still pricey, but it is $50 less, which is really nice. Here we go, yay! We had to wait a little while because they take into account everyone's weight. So they like weight and balance each plane because they are small planes. So I think we're one of the last ones to go out, but that's okay, still gonna be awesome. Just got our safety briefing. Nothing I haven't heard before being a flight attendant. I hope I won't be serving drinks on this flight though. <laughs> Watch out for our crevasses. That was so cool. Wow. That was insane. Alaska is beautiful, but you really can't appreciate it until you see it that way. It even, was just... Yeah, even before we got up into the mountains, just the vastness of the forest around you and, and how little human impact there is and how huge Alaska is. But then you get up into the mountains. It's just it's, a whole nother world. The scale of things is, I can't. I, if there's any truth to a breathtaking view, you'll find it in these mountains. We said it was pricey before, but so far worth it. Yeah, it's worth something that it. you won't ever forget. Definitely. This is incredible. Yeah. And to be able to set foot on the glacier too is just so cool to really be out here in it. Yeah, we're on the Ruth Glacier. More of a snowy part of it, not on the actual glacial ice. They can't land on that. Yeah. But in what's called the Don Sheldon Amphitheater. It is just, I mean, it, like you see this on like like documentaries on National Geographic. But yeah. to like be in it is just. So, so cool. This is insane. That was 
way too short. You get 15 or 20 minutes on the glacier, but they have other flights, so time to take off again. It was awesome. Oh yeah, 15 or 20 minutes, well spent. All right, what a fun tour that was. That was so awesome. Definitely a splurge. Yeah, we normally don't do tours that are this expensive, but I can definitely recommend this one just because the sheer beauty of seeing that landscape from the sky is just... It really gives you an appreciation of the scale of Alaska. Yeah. And if you're doing an Alaska trip and it's like your big bucket list, once in a lifetime thing, highly recommend. Definitely. Our pilot's name was Chris Wilson at K2 Aviation. He was awesome. Also with the headsets, they allow you to ask questions. On the way back, I asked a few questions about the climbers that go up. He was super okay. knowledgeable, you know, knew a lot about the area, so definitely very cool. And for you aviation geeks out there, I know there are gonna be questions about this. We asked what kind of plane it is. It's called a De Havilland Otter. He said it was built in Canada. Very cool, tiny little plane. It was a great trip. We, we had an awesome time. We have worked up quite an appetite though, so we're gonna head back to town and get some food. Tacos, yeah! Decided to park back at our hotel because it's like a two minute walk to anywhere on Main Street. I touched on this briefly in one of our earlier videos. Talkeetna is where climbers who are looking to summit Denali base themselves out of. So they'll get outfitted here. They'll stay here to prepare. And K2 and some of the other aviation companies will actually fly the climbers and their gear up to base camp. So there's a lot of climber history here. They say that Talkeetna is a drinking town with a climbing problem. <laughs> Also, fun fact, if you have ever seen the 90s TV sitcom Northern Exposure. It was based on the town of Talkeetna. Yeah, so now I kind of feel like I have to go back and watch that series. In the opening of the show, they show a moose walking down Main Street, which is probably not uncommon here. No. All right, today for lunch, we are opting for the Taquitina taco truck, more like a trailer, I guess. I don't remember this being here, so this is our first time trying it. I got my burrito. I'm so excited, I'm so hungry. It looks really good. She's real excited. <laughs> I got an asada burrito. I went for the blackened halibut taco. Uh. Main Street of Talkeetna is very small. Mainly it's just a bunch of different restaurants and bars, but there is one small general store, which is Nagley's. Another notable thing about Talkeetna is that it's the town that has a cat as the mayor. They actually had a cat for about 18 or 20 years named Stubbs because he had a little stubby tail. He passed on a few years back, but they've elected another cat named Denali. We haven't seen him. He's around here somewhere. They generally live in Nagley's general store, so we'll keep an eye out for Mr. Mayor. I think that's going to do it for this one, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and be sure to subscribe. We do have a couple more Alaskan adventures coming up. You wouldn't want to miss those, and we will see you soon. This is Kelly and Kevin from The Awkward Tourists. Peace out.
take a scenic flight around Denali and we're gonna land on a glacier and it's gonna be so loud. <laughs> Greater is not having it today. <laughs> Tacos. Let's go. Come on. Why are you excited? Taco time. Tacos. Need some tacos. Tacos. <laughs> I don't think this was here when we when we worked here. Okay. Well, he's, he went away. 